hello friends in this video we are going to see about third stage of labor now what is third stage of labor it is delivery of placenta and its membrane followed by stopping the bleeding as soon as possible this is what the third stage of labor now why we concerned about third stage so much because we know that that the most common cause of maternal death across the world is postpartum hemorrhage and this postpartum hemorrhage happens in third stage of labor if we could manage the third stage of labor very effectively we can prevent pph and therefore the maternal deaths now till now we were doing in ancient time or we what we were doing is we were doing passive management of third stage of labor so what happens in passive management after delivery of the baby we waited that the placenta and its membrane will expel out from themselves and the uterine contraction will be there for themselves for itself we don't do anything in the procedure we just wait and watch this was the passive management the problem with passive management was it would take 30 minutes on an average 30 minutes to get completed until then many many amount of blood can be lost so now what we are doing in this scenario is we do active management of third stage of labor instead of passive what we are doing here we do active management so what that means literally active management means we don't wait for uterine contraction to come itself or spontaneously rather we do something so that the uterine contraction comes immediately after the delivery of the baby we don't wait for it we give drugs we do things so that uterine contraction comes immediately after the delivery of the baby or even delivery of the anterior shoulder second thing we don't wait for placenta and its membrane to come out spontaneously instead we do control contraction and try to remove the placenta from uh, by force to prevent and cut short the duration so that we can prevent the pph so this is what the basics of active management of third stage of labor now what are the components of the active management of labor that is amtsl active management of labor we just cut short the 30 minutes of third stage into just 5 minutes how we do this the components are four components there the first component is use of oxytocin second component delayed cord clamping third component controlled cord traction on placenta and the fourth component is intermittent uterine tone assessment now let's go by each and every uh, component in detail first one use of oxytocin the oxytocin drug are the drugs which cause uterine contraction okay so there are many drugs available to us but the more most physiologic uh, hormone available is oxytocin oxytocin is a physiological hormone that cause uterine contraction physiologically and very healthy kind of thing so the drug of choice for oxytocin is oxytocin how we give oxytocin just after delivery of anterior shoulder of the baby that means immediately just immediately after the delivery of the head and anterior shoulder we start oxytocin we give by two routes the first one is intramuscular bolus of around 10 international unit units we give immediately after delivery 
we also start a maintenance drip in which we put oxytocin IV drip the uh, international units will be either 10 or 20 according to the situation so we start both IM and IV the oxytocin is the drug of choice but if it not able to control by itself we can add too many uh, we can add uh, two of the drugs also the first one among them is methyl ergometrin this is also cause tonic uterine contractions the dose is 0.2 mg IM it also available in tablet forms the side effect of methyl ergometrin is very very serious if the patient is of hypertensive of or uh, it uh, or she has any organic cardiac disease so we need to prevent this thing we need to identify first and then only we give methyl ergometrin another very important drug is mesoprostol that is pge1 that is prostaglandin analog we do 600 mg of these drugs for sublingual uh, sublingual root okay so this drug is also very uh, effective and uh, devoid of any more uh, side effects uh, not much very serious side effects are there so mesoprostol is also important drug if these three drugs cannot control the uterine bleeding if we effectively we have another prostaglandin analog that is pgf2 that also called carboprost or even prostidine how we use it we give it by im intramuscular injection 250 microgram but the side effect of this drug is very serious uh, it causes bronchoconstriction so if we have diseases of uh, respiratory diseases in the patient we need to be very cautious about using this drug but again this carboprost is a very very effective drug second component of the amtsl is delayed cord clamping what is the principle behind that the cord has some 80 to 100 ml of blood left what we need is we just allow the blood to transfuse to the baby before we cut the cord it is not done in all cases it should not be done in IUGR RH negative patients or the babies with non cardiac diseases congenital cardiac diseases now the third thing is control cord attraction as I mentioned before we need to we not uh, we don't need wait for the placenta to come out by itself instead we do a control cord traction we just give the traction to the umbilical cord with one hand and with other end we just push the uterus opposite side of the traction so that it will also prevent uterine inversion and it will help in uh, separation of the placenta earlier now third thing uh, fourth component in the uh, AMTSL is intermittent uterine tone assessment while doing this management we we frequently uh, assess the tone of the uterus if it is very good tone of the uterus then it's okay but if it is not there then we need to interfere or we need to action uh, so this is the fourth component this is how the AMTSL is done now very important thing here is uterine massage is not actually recommended it is not compulsory thing it's only needed when there is a PPH postpartum hemorrhage we need to act something so we do it uterine massage but in AMTSL uterine massage is not a component of AMTSL just remember this thing you uh, uh, the delayed cord clamping is also of now using uh, is a controversial again many people not use this thing uh, in two days so okay these are the four components of the ATMSL so till now you need to remember these four components thank you